um, how how architecture overview look like. So this is uh, this is um, a picture uh, about which there are jokes that there is no UFI uh, presentation without this picture. So here it is, and um, let's start from the left to right. So first of all, columns. So we on the on the x axis we have timeline of uh, platform. Um, runtime process or boot process and runtime process um, and we starting on the left side with some very early security phase which, which should start after power on but there are some nitty gritty details related to how modern platforms boot so this is maybe a little bit uh, uh, different right now and all those columns like SEC, PI, DXC, BDS, TSL, RT, AL um, define the stages um, in the in the PI specification and uh, some of the components here um, are uh, describe, um, UFI are described in the UFI specification. Mostly this is about this uh, bold uh, line uh, which is marked with UFI interface. So that that is what uh, UFI specification talking about. Um, the interface exposed at this point, uh, for boot manager and for BDS uh, boot stage to finally uh, load uh, some um, application or as absent application, for example, like uh, memtest or some some bare metal um, application which running uh, without uh, uh, without operating system or uh, run OS bootloader, which essentially will kick uh, the operating system kernel. And, and move on with the platform lifetime. We will talk about all these components in future slides. So as we can see um, on, on previous, as we saw on previous slide, UFI covers only a very small part of uh, boot firmware. So just this interface, the PI cover my, much wider. So hardware initialization is the subject, subject of the platform initialization specification. And the most important important phase uh, for PI are um, sec, so the first first rectangle, first um, um, column, then uh, PI, and those two are quite extensively ex uh, described. Uh, but uh, implementation of those phases is typically um, uh, up to the uh, IBVs, independent BIOS vendors, and and platform designers. So uh, UFI talks only about the interface um, where drivers loaded during the boot process expose some information to um, bootloader so it can uh, leverage, leverage those, uh, those drivers, those interfaces exposed uh, through those di drivers to access um, some boot device in the boot, di boot device selection phase. There is also interface for communication uh, with the OS. Uh, so for example, operating system may want to change boot order, may want to do the firmware update through capsule update, and that needs some uh, runtime services uh, which are used by operating system. This is also defined by um, UFI specification. Um, yeah, so uh, if we talk about various stages of the boot process, uh, in UFI, only the uh, driver execution environment, so Dixie phase, has detailed description in the UFI spec. Uh, the PI, the SEC and PI are described in the uh, PI specification, but not, but um, despite very extensive way, there is no, um, there is a lot of flexibility for the uh, designers and uh, IBVs to implement that phase. 